A multiple ratio is a conversion factor that allows you to go from one compound to a completely different compound. You know to use a multiple ratio when you are trying to change your compounds. Now, where do you find the numbers for that multiple ratio? In your balanced equation. When you're balancing equations, you have a coefficient in front of a compound or a number in front of a compound. That is what you use in a multiple ratio. Let's try some. How many moles of H2O are produced when 2.5 moles of O2 reacts with H2? We're given 2.5 moles of O2 and you're finding moles of H2O. Notice we're going from O2 to H2O, so we're changing our compound. We have to use a multiple ratio. Where we get that multiple ratio is from our balanced equation. Your setup will be with our given first, that 2.5 moles of O2 on top, aligning your moles of O2 across from each other so they can cancel, and put what you're finding, the moles of H2O, on top. Where we're going to take these numbers for our multiple ratio is from the balanced equation. If there is no original number, assume it's just a 1. There's 1 mole and 2 moles of H2O. Multiply straight across and you get 5.0 moles of H2O. Now I really want us to understand this concept, so let's do another example so we can really master this. How many moles of O2 are in 7.03 moles of CO2? We're given the 7.03 moles of CO2 and going to moles of O2. We're changing the compound again, so we have to use our multiple ratio from our balanced equation. Your setup with your given on top, the 7.03 moles of CO2, aligning those moles of CO2 across from each other so they can cancel, and placing the moles of O2 on top. Once again, we'll get our multiple ratio from our balanced equation. There are five moles of O2 per every three moles of CO2. Multiply straight across and divide by three, and you get 11.7 moles of O2.